Hey there, everybody. P. Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new review day here on the channel. Today, for this episode, we're going to take a look at uh, a really cool first ever full length studio release from this young guitar player phenom from Italy. His name is Matteo Mancuso. The name of the album is called The Journey. And of course, he's got on the front, he's got his uh, Yamaha Red Star guitar. He has been one of the guys on the internet who has been playing these Yamaha guitars since they first came out. And he's been a uh, big fan, big proponent of the uh, guitar. And of course, as you can see, very cool looking guitar, kind of like uh, shaped almost like a Gibson SG, that which he you would normally see him playing up until fairly recently. All right, now let's take a look. And he's got a couple guys helping him out on the album. And this comes out on the Players Club, right? It's a div division of Mascot. Mascot Records is a great label for lots of guitar players and guitar-oriented music. And it's no surprise to see Matteo showing up here. There he is. Okay. Endorsed by Yamaha. Appearing with him on the opposite, of course, Matteo Mancuso on all sorts of guitars, acoustic and electric, Stefano India on bass, and Giuseppe Bruno on drums with some help from Ricardo Oliva, bass on two tracks, Gianluca Pellerito, drums on two tracks, Giuseppe Vasapoli, uh, piano and organ on two tracks, and Vincenzo Mancuso acoustic guitar on the title track. All songs written by Matteo Mancuso, except... Uh, two, written by Vincenzo Mancuso. Recorded by Vincenzo Mancuso at Fico di India Studios, Casteldacia, Sicily. Mixed by Andrea Secchi, mastered by Carmine Simeone. Mixed and mastered by Forward, or at Forward Studios in Rome, Italy. So, if you've, I mean, this guy kind of like took over the internet by storm a couple of years back he's got this ridiculous technique he does not use he plays all instrumental jazz jazz rock type stuff doesn't use a pick everything he plays he either plucks with his finger like a classical guitar, guitar player or he does like all sorts of kind of like you know hammer on pull off type things you know the tapping sort of stuff uh, but for the most part he's just kind of like picks these strings with his fingers uh, and Amazing stuff happens. Amazing stuff. So we've been able to see him doing all sorts of things on various videos over the last couple of years on the internet. And I think most people were just salivating over the prospect of getting a full-length album from him. And that's what we've got here. So we've got uh, nine tracks on the album. It's a mix of kind of like high-energy fusion stuff, more laid-back, uh, traditional-type jazz, some flamenco stuff, and some kind of uh, acoustic type things as well. A little bit of everything. You got titles uh, Silk Road, Polifemo, Falcon Flight, Open Fields, Drop D, Blues for John, Time to Leave, Samba Party, and the title track, The Journey. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing stuff. Uh, this kid is so damn talented and you know, you listen to the, you know, there's beautiful stuff happening on here, gentle, tranquil stuff. There's the kind of the faster pace, you know, stuff where he's just flying about the fretboard and you're just kind of like, what did he just do there type of thing. Um, you know, nothing on here is overly, overly high energy fusion. There are a couple tunes that are kind of burners, but, you know, but not like in, you know, like a tribal tech Mahavishnu sort of thing, right? Not Brand X, not quite there, but there is, there's definitely more compared to what we've seen him do a lot online on YouTube and whatnot. There's definitely some stuff that I think a lot of people wanted to hear from him. Although I, I, I have seen in recent uh, memory some cool, like rock oriented things that he's done. And I know he did that live album with PFM fairly recently, so he has dabbled a bit. But I think this gives you a good kind of overview of everything that he is capable of and he can do and uh, like I said the lovely more acoustic stuff is really nice 
the more laid back kind of jazz stuff is just gorgeous and the more kind of jazz rock aggressive stuff is really really well done filled with just like blazing playing of course so uh yeah i mean it's hard not to give this a 4.5 out of 5 star easy i mean this guy is incredible this is the kid you want to be looking out for if you're into uh, instrumental guitar music. Matteo Mancuso, The Journey, brand new release, hot off the presses. Like I said, this is on uh, the Players Club, which is the division of mascot music. So uh, go check it out. You should be able to get this just about anywhere. I picked this up from Ken Golden at lasercd.com, but uh, you should be able to get this anywhere you normally buy your music. So check it out. Visit us on the web at www.cutranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together. All the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below we get the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page. So thank you in advance for all of your support there. Interesting how he's got uh, the Yamaha on the front. has got P90 pickups. And then the one on the inside got regular humbuckers they, they make these uh these yamaha rev star guitars both variations he's got one of each why not right because they both pickups sound different got one for every possible style of music you're gonna play so anyway thanks everybody for watching we'll see you real soon here on the channel with more stuff i'm p pardo thanks again bye-bye